Hello friends, let us now learn some important points about ineffective, ineffective erythropoiesis. So, okay, yeah. Ineffective erythropoiesis. Erythropoiesis is production or process of synthesis of RBC. If the erythropoiesis does not occur properly, then this lead to non-functional RBC or it can also cause malformed RBC. So if in any case it causes, it leads to the formation of malformed RBC, these will undergo apoptosis and die. The causes of ineffective erythropoiesis include thalassemia, it causes megaloblastic anemia, causes of megaloblastic anemia, uh, myelodysplastic syndrome, lead poisoning causes ineffective erythropoiesis and pyridoxine responsive anemia. Then dyserythropoietic anemia will also cause ineffective erythropoiesis and finally severe prolonged iron deficiency anemia severe prolonged iron deficiency anemia also causes ineffective erythropoiesis so first we will learn some points about reticulocyte Reticulocyte is present in almost 1% of RBC. It is immature RBC, present slightly larger than the normal RBC. It is almost present in 1% of RBC. It develops in mature in bone marrow and it will circulate for a day. It will develop mature in bone marrow and it will circulate for a day in blood leading to the formation of mature RBC. So this reticulocyte which we are talking about, it, ha it gives rise to reticular network of rRNA and finally this reticular network of rRNA is visible with supravital stains. Example, it is visible with methylene blue or it is visible with brilliant chrysal blue. Then normally if you see we have the normal Romanowski stain. In normal Romanowski stain, reticulocytes appear slightly bluer than the RBC. In normal Romanowski stain, reticulocytes appear slightly bluer than RBC. Then we have some counts of reticulocytes, some methods of counting the reticulocytes. One, we have reticulocyte count. Reticulocyte count is the percentage of reticulocytes which are present in peripheral blood. There are around 1 to 1.5 percent of reticulocytes in blood are normal. It indicates erythropoietic activity in the bone marrow. Because reticulocytes are actually the precursors of RBC, so this will indicate the erythropoietic activity in the bone marrow. Then we have to learn about absolute reticulocyte count. Absolute reticulocyte count is the number of reticulocytes present in 1 millimeter of blood. So this absolute reticulocyte count gives that is equal to reticulocyte percentage plus into RBC count by 100 gives us absolute reticulocyte count. Then we have to learn something about reticulocyte index. In reticulocyte index is also called as poor, poor man's bone marrow aspirate. Reticulocyte index, we can adjust reticulocyte for hematocrit and this will reflect the bone marrow activity. So we are adjusting the reticulocyte for hematocrit because the person who have hemoglobin of 10, um, the reticulocyte present in uh, a person with hemoglobin of 10 and the reticulocytes present in a person of hemoglobin of 4 are not physiologically similar to each other so in order to make them uh, you know balance out we calculate this reticulocyte index which is equal to reticulocyte count into hemoglobin by age and sex into sex adjusted normal hemoglobin count 
normal reticulocyte index is 1 to 3 percent so these are the important formulas then let us now learn the differences between the reticulocytosis and we have reticulocytopenia in reticulocytosis there is increased rbc production and this reticulocytosis here the reticulocyte count is more than 1.5 percent and reticulocyte index is more than 3 percent the causes of reticulocytosis are due to anemia due to blood loss like acute blood loss or hemorrhage because of decreased hemoglobin suddenly rbc the body starts to produce reticulocytes hemoglobinopathies like sickle cell anemia and thalassemia where hemolysis of rbc occurs fast due to abnormal shaped rbcs a hemolytic anemia that includes autoimmune hemolytic anemia uh, and paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria and glucose 6 phosphate de dehydrogenase deficiency other conditions like post splenectomy post anemia treatment folate or iron and vitamin b12 deficiencies then we have reticulocytopenia decreased rbc production and reticulocyte count should be less than 0.5 percent and reticulocyte index should be one percent to call it as reticulocytopenia the causes of reticulocytopenia include chemotherapy aplastic anemia iron deficiency anemia vitamin b12 deficiency anemia and folic acid deficiency perinaceous anemia bone marrow malignancies and anemia of chronic disease that is reticulocytopenia is seen in conditions where the um, um, where the inputs for hemoglobin sorry inputs for rbc production are deficient like deficiency of iron vitamin b12 folic acid or in pernicious anemia folic acid so all those which are which are necessary for production of rbcs are deficient so obviously if we do not have the uh, goods for production of the finished product for, for final product then there will be decreased in the goods and decrease in final product also right then this is about the reticulocyte count thank you guys for watching